Okay, we're going to look at this thing that I think is what I would call a gen. Now, there's a little bit of difference in what um, in the Middle East they would call a gen and then what we in the West would call a shadow person. Um, gen tend to be smoky, where a shadow person tends to be... Um, like a solid shadow and a shadow person typically is black where you've heard of like blue genies and uh, the gen is where we get the word genie from there seems to be a little bit difference a difference in them in some kind of way I don't know I think they pretty much do the same thing but the appearance is a little different uh, maybe to the place that they are assigned to there's certain regions like the Prince of Persia when Michael uh, came and he was uh, coming to uh, Daniel he got in a battle with the Prince of Persia and was held up two weeks now Jesus said that um, talked about uh, different demonic entities that had no light in them at all and um, I think literally there's no light in them and that's why they look so dark or black like with the shadow entities and what have you and then there are um, you know he said that you can cast a demon out of someone it wanders through dry places and come back see that you swept your house clean or tried to put your life back together because the house is the person or the body and then it wanders through these dry places and uh, gathers seven worse than itself and comes back and you are in a worse state than you started so when I'm looking at this thing I'm thinking okay this is a, a demon this is a disembodied type of spirit now we know that when um, I've talked about this many times about uh, fallen angels or celestial beings and terrestrial beings not all the fallen angels have been disembodied so some of them have bodies the Apostle Paul talked about there's different kinds of flesh and God gives things a body as it pleases him now um, I believe that this is a disembodied type spirit that is a uh, what they would call a gin it's a smoky thing same thing basically as a shadow person now I'm covering these children's face up because I told the parents that I would cover him up but I want to look at this thing as you've got a chance to look at it um, was this um, basically something that was photoshopped so I looked at the what could be layers if you had the background layer then you could superimpose the kids over the front and then you could put the genie or what you know the gin or demon here in uh in the middle of the layers but when you look at this thing closer this thing is actually i think messing with the woman sitting at the table and it is reaching through her hair um so that would be a really hard thing to layer something with a background layer the foreground layer a middle layer and then somehow layer it in through weaved through the background layer so I, I really believe they caught something here I believe this is a real um, gin or basically demon a disembodied spirit that uh, sometimes shows up like uh, this now there are some types that are um, actual um, uh, no light in them and all, at all fallen entities that have bodies and they look like shadow people from a distance but they actually do have bodies they're just that black because I encountered one one time and I was two feet from it it was that close to me when I opened my eyes and it was right there I looked at its uh, the white of its eyes and he had irises that was a dirty white I looked at I saw wrinkles in his face but he was so black it was I don't see it but I seen wrinkles I seen that it had a real solid body it was incredibly scary and I um, I jumped and 
I was in a recliner at the time in the living room. I just had laid down. I shut my eyes for a second, and I opened my eyes, and it was right there. And uh, and when I jumped it, I, I jumped back on the recliner a little bit, and the recliner flipped over, and I rolled out, and I jumped up, and I basically uh, was like, I looked, and it was gone. And I instantly went to praying and uh, plead the blood of Jesus and prayed that God set up a hedge around my home. Uh, and I prayed that God place angels around my home uh, to protect my home because you don't want to ask angels to come and guard your home. That You're talking to angels then. You're not supposed to do that. The Bible says that angels do God's bidding. So you would ask your Father in Heaven in Jesus' name to send angels to protect your home. Now, I think these type of uh, shadow beings and these uh, jinn, um, especially the shadow beings, uh, the smoky type and dark uh, black type, I think they tend to specialize in steal, kill, and destroy type stuff, uh, having to do with a draining person, a person of like energy or making them sick. Um, doing things that isolate people and try to separate them from others. Uh, and, and once they get them isolated, they can work on, um, you know, continuing to drag the person down to lose hope. And uh, a lot of times people that get these type of entities around them, they will get depressed. They will not have any energy. And, you know, if you don't have energy, it doesn't necessarily mean you got this going on. I'm just saying. Uh, that's the, I think they focus a lot on those type of things and then, and then others, uh, will join in and try to change behaviors and do their will through a person. But anyway, I told this person to go to the Lord. I told them that they need to be praying, ask for the hedge, ask for, plead the blood of Jesus, ask for God to set up angels around them all, their home, things like that. And, uh, and then trust Jesus to be your shepherd a good shepherd that, that you know that jesus says he's a good shepherd now if jesus lets this kind of stuff go on he wouldn't be a good shepherd if you're one of his now you could be saying that you're one of his and not be you know he said that there'd be people come to him and say lord lord didn't i do this this and this you know and he said i never knew you apart from me you workers of iniquity so there's some people that think they're saved but aren't um but if you belong to the lord and you're you know you're trusting in jesus christ for your salvation kind of like the thief on the cross he said remember me when you go come into your kingdom lord he knew that the only chance he had was depending fully on jesus christ not nothing he could do he didn't even have time to do it but even if you do have time if you trust on any of your good works all your works all your good deeds and works are um and what you believe is righteousness is as filthy rags according to the scriptures so be like the man who fell on his knees and ripped his garment and said have mercy on me god for i'm a sinner because jesus said okay is that guy right with god or is the guy over here that looks all holy he prays he gives some to the poor and this and that and he stands on the street corner praying big fancy prayers and things like that he said, or is he right with God? Or is this guy who drops on his knees and rips his garments, which is a sign of uh, repentance, you know, repenting. And uh, he says, have mercy on me, God. I am a sinner. He said, who's right with God? And it was the guy who just said, God, have mercy on me. So I say, pray that prayer or pray the prayer like the thief on the cross next to Jesus. Remember me, Lord. When you come into your kingdom and trust that the Lord is a good shepherd. If a shepherd watches over sheep and he was to let lions and things like that come in and devour the sheep, he wouldn't be a good shepherd. He'd be and maybe an OK shepherd if it happened once or twice. But if it happened and it, these uh, beasts of the field remained in with the sheep, he would be a lousy shepherd. So it's almost blasphemy to say that you're a Christian and you have ongoing stuff like this. 
because then you would say your shepherd's not really a good shepherd. He cannot complete the work he started in you. The Bible says that he, God gives you grace and the sufficiency to do all the things, that the works that he's called you to do. So trust in your shepherd. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, I believe this is possibly, unless they have tricked me somehow, but I, from looking at this picture, I, I think they actually caught something. It would be, I think, impossible for this man who sent this to have faked this picture to the extent where this thing is reaching through this woman's hair. What is it doing to her? It's doing something to her. Maybe it is working on giving her a migraine of some kind. Maybe it's it's uh, working on depression with her. Who knows? Maybe even pray for that woman. Because whatever is going on there, if that's a djinn or a shadow being or a person, a demonic disembodied entity, it cannot be good. Okay, uh, an example of a possible uh, shadow entity, or maybe a djinn, um, is in this picture here. I can't remember who sent this to me, but it has, like, on the driveway, a shadow thing that moves by the car. And uh, it comes from, they sent me a picture of the driveway from across the street. But I thought it was very interesting because it looks like a shadow thing. Um, coming down the driveway and then um, Cindy Hardy I think it was sent me uh, a picture she snapped of a shadow being um, when she went uh, to this uh, on a, like a vacation thing or something and she caught this weird looking entity on camera and then there was someone else that sent me a picture uh, and he thought maybe there was something behind him in the car that was a shadow being he took a picture like over his shoulder or something and caught a weird thing so I don't know what do you all think thank you all if anyone has any pictures they'd like to share you can send it to Brent's on at gmail.com or any good stories that uh, type of things I cover here uh, you can send them to my email. Uh, give me a brief description of your story. You know, give contact information, send a picture. You know the routine with that. If anyone wants to make a contribution to help me with this channel, and I do need a few between now and the end of the month, and then uh, things I think will start picking back up, um, you can go to the link in the description for PayPal me and make a contribution there. It's much appreciated. And I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.